So today we're here with Bandit. Bandit is five months old and we are actually right outside Petco. We're gonna do a little training to show you guys how to get your dog to behave in public. and it's born in training and this is his first session really out in my neighborhood it's a little bit well it's very low-key you might pass like one person so um, we're gonna work on behaving just in public settings because he lives in like basically on the boardwalk in Santa Monica so it's so busy all the time and he needs to learn that he can't jump up on every person that's walking by not everybody is there to see him and how to control himself with other dogs we've had a couple issues with him lately when we do put him on the leash and he can't get to a dog just out of excitement he's been starting to react and it comes off as aggressive so we've been working through that in like more controlled settings so this is his first big test and we're just gonna throw him into Petco go big or go home right bandit and I do have treats on me definitely to in the beginning to shift the excitement off of like all the people and the dogs and everything to get in the routine of what we do when we see dogs and people um, so the goal would be to wean off of treats with this and he just take that control himself um, and look to me to get what he wants so it's not like he's going to be a service dog that just can't say hi to any people he just has to know the key to getting to them is not just pulling, being in his own world, like naturally see his ears are perking up, just sees people from that far away. And he's like, oh my gosh, everybody's here for me. Um, it's just pretty controlled for him right now. I want him to know the key to getting anything is looking at me. So what I'm gonna try to do almost this entire time in here is just keep his focus. And you'll see that just, just teaching him to focus, whether it be like a smell he wants to get to, a person, a dog, anything he wants to get to, focusing on me is the answer and everything will just go so smoothly. So many people, when the dog wants to get to somewhere and they're like, no, no, that's not how you get there. Their mind is still focused on what they want. So telling them no does nothing. You have to shift their mind to you to show them how to get there. How do we go forward? Looking up at me over here a little bit more, sit. Yes. My goal is just going to be to keep him present with me in here the whole time. Bandit. And I'm going to use the lax leash walking rule that I use. And that's saying his name three times as we're walking. If in one of those three times he looks up at me, I'll drop down and give him a treat while we're walking and we get to keep going forward. But if he's just kind of ignoring me like he just did, I'm going to make him sit. Yes. Fully control himself and we have to stop. So if he can have enough self-control to keep walking, check in with me. He gets the best of both worlds. He gets to go forward and a treat. Bandit. Bandit. Definitely gonna have him sit before we go in. Bandit. I'm gonna pull him back. Sit. So here's a little bit of his excitement. Bandit. That's not how you get there. Come on, you can do it. Bandit. Bandit. Yes, yeah, see, that doesn't get you there. So since he's really worked up right now, I'm gonna make him lay down even. Bandit, sit. Hey. Yes, down. Yes, relax. Look. Yes, let's go. Okay. Hi. Sit. Bandit. Yes. Okay. Another sit. Bandit. Bandit. Yes. Good boy. Bandit. 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 Sit. Yeah, so the reason why I'm calling his name constantly is although he's not looking at me, it's keeping him from going 100% over to the other side of being consumed by everything. Because if I can't, if I don't even have his focus right now, when somebody comes up and is like, oh my God, cute dog, I'm not gonna, I'm sure as hell not gonna have his focus then. Bandit, over this way, sit. Yes, good boy, ah. See how after he got the treat, he just got up and went. 
I'm going to wait until he can, I'm not gonna move forward until he can get a treat and just look to me right away. That was better. He got the treat and instead of moving forward, looked forward. So now let's try this. So, oh, that was back to level one. Band it. Sit. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes, good. See how he got the treat and checked in with me? Perfect. Good boy. Bandit. 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 Sit. Oh, I thought that was going to be the one that he was going to check in with me on. Yes. Hi. Good. How are you? Good. Bandit. Sit. Bandit. How old is he? He's five months old. He's learning how to behave in public. Oh, hold on. Look at me. Sit. Yes. Okay. Go say hi. And sit. Bandit. I'll yes. Got him. Now you can pet him. Um, since he was two months old, he's in training camp right now. Gotcha. Good. That was very good. No jumping. <gasps> yes. Good boy. That was very good. Good boy, Bandit. What's that? Is that a chinchilla? Bandit, you want to see the chinchilla? Look, it's so cute. Look, do you see it? Yes. Okay. Bandit. Give him a treat, see where his mind goes. Oh, that's not where we go. You stay present with me. Better. Yes. <laughs> Bandit. Bandit. Sit. Yes. Good boy. Bandit. This is really good for him. Mister, how do you get there? Oh. That's not how. Sit. Bandit, yes, come, sit, yes, okay, up, uh, sit, oh, that's not how, bandit, yes, good, yes, good boy, bandit, I know it's so exciting, Yes. Bandit. Sit. Mister. Yes. Good boy. What do you do? Yes. Good boy. Much better. Yes. Good. Sit. Bandit? Yes. Good boy. Bandit? Sit. See how he's getting perked up about the jingle bells? We want him to think that every single sound means look to me. Yes. Again, this would be the most challenging place that I could possibly bring him as a puppy this age, not being exposed to um, a whole lot lately, but that's okay. If he can work through it here, he can work through it anywhere. So he's really got to work on that dog thing, controlling himself around other dogs. Bandit, how do you get there? <gasps> ooh, ooh. I can already see a difference though. Like this is like, I think like the third dog we've seen or maybe second, whatever. Um, he is still like crying. Honestly, this is better than a few days ago when he first started this whole reacting thing. It was like going nuts, like Frenchy going nuts sound. So this is like ooh, a little bit of crying, not full on barking. I mean, he barks a little bit, but it's nothing compared to what he was doing a few weeks ago or a few days ago. Yes, Bandit, down. Yes, good boy. And then now he's looking, he's crying. He's like trying to control himself. I see it. 
bandit. Look, <gasps> yes, good boy. So sometimes he's just not gonna be able to say hi to everybody and he has to get over that too, and every dog. That's gonna be the hardest thing for him. Bandit. Oh, <gasps> yes! That was so good, he checked in on the first bandit while walking. So I make it a point if he does that to, um, to drop down and give him a treat while walking. Bandit. <gasps> yes, so he gets two rewards at once. We keep going and he gets the treat. Ooh, the treat aisle, is that gonna be tough? Should we go down the treat aisle? Excuse me. Heel. Yes. Where does his mind go? Right back to me, good boy. Bandit. Leave it. <gasps> yes, good. Leave it. <laughs> this is very difficult. Yes, good boy. And we haven't really worked on the leave it. Actually, I don't even know if we've worked on it at all with him. So this is, he doesn't even have a solid base of listening to that leave it command. So this is really actually good. But notice how I don't, when I say leave it, I'm not like leave it and pulling that. Oh, did you hear a dog? What do you do when you hear a dog? What do you do? I shorten the leash enough that he like maybe can't get to it, but I wait for him to work through it on his own. Yes, good boy. Leave it. Do those smell better than your treats? <laughs> so right here, I'm gonna shorten it so he can't eat those things because they're not even in wrappers. But I'm not gonna yank him away. If you need to, put the treat in front of his nose to lure him away, you can do that. Oh, that was a tough aisle, okay. You gotta sit first, Del. Hey, sit. Ah, uh, that's not how. Oh. Up. Bandit. Yeah, that's not how we say hi. It's very easy to just let the dog go up and say hi then, but he'll never learn that way. Sit. Bandit. Up. Sit. Yes. Sit. Ah. Uh. Hey, sit. Yes. Okay. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, Bandit, come. Let's go. Yes, good boy. So I made sure because he's super obsessed with the other dogs and being in his own mind about the other dogs that we made the introduction really short. I pulled him away and made him regain self-control again. And we're gonna go the other way. Before meeting another dog, it's really important to at least break the focus once. You know, the more that you can have focus on you, the better, of course but it's super important that you at least break that focus one time. Bandit. Bandit. Yes, wait. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. And sit. Yes, good boy. Good job, Bandit. Good boy. So he'll definitely need to work on the other dogs factor, controlling himself, getting up to other dogs, but he, he did really well working through it and following direction. So I'm proud of him for his first time.